Aloha kako ad ekomo mai. Today we have a 1998 Toyota Tacoma that needs a new ignition switch cylinder. So, let's get to work. All right, the first step is to remove this lower dashboard cover here. And uh, I count one, two, three, there's four of these type of screws. And then right here, there's one Phillips head screw. So there's one, two, three on this side. And one, two on this side that need to be removed. So we're gonna go ahead and chase those down and take this off. All right, it's pretty clear that someone's been in here before. We've got the bottom panel off. And as you can see, this is all out of place. So someone's been in here. I don't know when, but the next step is to go ahead and take this panel off. It should just pop out. And then right behind here, there's a connector. Press down the tab, pull it off. All right, now that we have this trim piece off, I'm gonna take a look at this. Um, there is usually a small screw right here that you have to take out to be able to remove this piece. But the screw is missing. So I'm just gonna pull the piece off and show you where the screw is supposed to be. Right here is where there's supposed to be a locator screw that just holds this in place and it is missing. I'll see if I can find another one when I put this back together. All right, so this is a relatively common problem for Toyotas. What happens is the inside of the cylinder uh, starts wearing out and then intermittently it'll work and it won't work. This one happens to be stuck where it won't go into the lock position. So right now it's stuck in the accessory position. And that is a good thing in this particular case because it will actually help us take the cylinder out. Um, before you can take the cylinder out, it has got to be in the accessory position because there's a locking button that um, holds this in place and you can't press that button in until this is in the accessory position. If you cannot get this in the accessory position and it's stuck in the lock position, then you'll have to come down and drill out the button that's underneath here. And when I get this out, I will show you where that is. All right, the next step is to pull the cylinder out. All I'm gonna to use to press on the button is a drill bit. You don't have to use a drill bit, but um, anything that's small like this will do, whether it's a really small screwdriver, a nail, uh, a center punch, something like that, just as long as it can fit in the hole underneath here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. Press on the button. Pull the cylinder out. All right, it comes out just like that, just that easy. Here is that button that I was pressing on right here. So if this is in the lock position, if this cylinder is in the lock position, you will not be able to press this button. Then you'll have to drill this button out from underneath. But this one is easy because it was not broken in the lock position. It was broken in the accessory position, which we needed. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and stick this new cylinder in. You want to make sure that your key is in the accessory position so that this button can move up and down like that. And you want to make sure that the switch on the inside here is in the accessory position so that this slot can line up with the key on the inside. Press the button. And slide into place. Okay, it feels like it's working well. It's in place. Let's pull the key out. And reinstall this guy. Now this little light ring did not have a screw holding it in when I took it apart, so I'm just going to have to slide it on here. Maybe I can try and find a screw for it. Actually, it's not going to come off. It's just locked in there pretty good. All right, time to put this panel back on, this trim panel. Got the clock here, the clock connector. Put that together. Let's 
steering wheel was too far up, it wasn't allowing me to put this in. There we go, just slides into place. Okay, time to put the bottom back on with those four screws. Oh my, you know we have lots of cars to fix. And I'm going shopping with my girlfriends tomorrow. Some of that, but... Hula Girl is my mascot and cheerleader. But right now, she sounds like a service advisor from a BMW dealership I worked at. I'm not listening to her right now. I've been working hard, and so have you. Let's take a 15-minute break. Grab your favorite beverage, kick off your shoes, and join me for 15 minutes in front of a campfire. No music, no talking, just the crackling of the campfire. Yes, you can take a 15-minute break. There is something so peaceful about a campfire. Just relax for a little bit. Either click on the card in the top right corner of the screen or follow the link posted down in the description. You too can do things Kauai style. Mahalo and ahoy ho!